I, I feel that America's strength is very linked to a big problem that we're facing, and that's the global warming and climate change. I, uh, I'm concerned about the environmental impacts and also the national security impacts of our addiction to oil. I'd like to know what you would do about that. I'm glad you put the two together, because like you, I feel they're, they're connected, and that is the, the uh, security implications of our addiction to oil at the same time, the, 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 the environmental impacts of our overuse of, of, of uh, carbon-based uh, energy sources. And uh, it, it does appear to me, and I think to most people, that the world's getting warmer. And it also appears to me that we're contributing to that. I don't know how much we're contributing to that. I don't, I don't know what percentage it is. What percentage is, is uh, caused by factors out of our control? What percentage is caused by our burning of, of greenhouse gas emitting fuels? I, I don't know. But I know that it's, it's a good idea in this kind of setting to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. I'd also like to get us off of foreign oil. And those two things are linked for me, or they, they have common potential. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to develop more sources of energy and become more efficient in our use of energy. Those are the two halves of the equation, if you will. First, in terms of sources. I'd like more nuclear power. I'd like to have liquefied coal, I believe, where we can sequester the CO2. I'd like to see us using our renewable resources solar, wind, I'd like more cellulastic ethanol, ethanol, biodiesel, biofuel, blue-green algae-oriented biodiesel, all these sources. And the list goes on and on. And I would invest substantially more dollars in developing basic science that could help develop some of these technologies. And so that's, that's, number, that's the energy side. Then there's the efficiency side, which is less expensive, which is getting more fuel-efficient cars, more fuel-efficient homes, and businesses. When I was governor, I proposed that everybody who bought a car that got over 35 miles to the gallon wouldn't have to pay sales tax on the car. You don't worry about that here, I know. But, uh, <laughs> but down south, that's an issue. And uh, no sales tax and no excise tax if you bought a car that got over 35 miles per gallon. And if you needed a, a van, if you got one that got over, I think it was 22, I can't remember the number, but if you got over a certain level, you could get the same break. And so we try to encourage people to move towards more fuel-efficient vehicles. I think the combination of those things, seriously undertaken, can get us energy secure and off of foreign oil. And we can stop sending a billion dollars a day to Ahmadinejad and Chavez and Putin and the like. And it, it would have that effect of improving our national security, improving our economy, we keep a billion dollars a day here, and also improving our environment. And I'll fight to have, finally, a real energy policy that gets us on that course. Thank you.